Hello everyone, and what I want to discuss today is um, a little trick that you can do with your Google Slides animation to make it go faster. Because in the previous video, we talked about going File, Publish to Web, and then changing the Auto Advance to something like every second. Now for some of you, that's actually too slow. It's not quite working uh, the way you wanted your animation to go. So what we can do is we can use a little trick. So I'm going to go to the Chrome Web Store. You can see here I'm on the Chrome Web Store. I'm going to search for something called Screencastify. What Screencastify does is it allows you to um, do a screen capture of your video. Right? So I'm going to click this guy. I would hit Add to Chrome. Uh, mine's already added, so I don't need to do that. All right? But once it's added, you see it comes up right here. Now what I can do is I'm going to switch to my tab where my animation is. I'm going to click this guy down. I'm going to hit start recording. You'll see it starts recording. Now we're going to be able to crop this stuff out later, so don't worry um, kind of about the extra stuff. But I'm going to hit present. And I'll kind of move my mouse off the screen here. And what you can do is you can start using your arrow keys to make the animation. So that way you can see it goes a lot faster. Now when I'm done recording, I come up here and click this. And I can hit stop. Once you do that, you actually see your video here. And I have mine set so it's saving to Google Drive, which you can do too when you first install the extension. It has you um, kind of create that. But that's a way that you would set it up here. I can come up to this top part. I can rename this. I'll hit close. And then this is actually saved. If I click this little guy here, I can see your recordings, and there's my animation demo. Now, once we kind of have this, um, if we wanted to cut out the extra parts in the beginning, when we upload this to something like YouTube via like Share, I could upload this here, I can actually use YouTube to crop out the extra parts, like the beginning and uh, the end. All right. Um, they do have a built-in crop tool here, but you can only use that with the paid account. So we would actually use YouTube to do the cropping. All right, so that's how you can use Screencastify to make a little quicker looking animation.